When talking about contentment, let us discuss a little about happiness. If you or I were to go out in the streets today and ask people for the topmost goal, for the topmost objective in life, being happy would be at the forefront of this list. We all want it. We're all in pursuit of happiness. We're all searching for happiness. We're all trying to find happiness. Some may try and find happiness through wealth. They feel the bigger the bank balance they have, the better the car they drive, the bigger the mansion they have, they will acquire happiness. Some may try and find happiness through the career they have, the quicker the promotion they get, the better the role they're in, the senior they get within their organization and company, they will acquire happiness. Some may try and acquire happiness through acquiring things, buying the latest phone that's out there in the market, buying the latest shoes that's out there in the shops, buying the most fashionable clothes, and through that, they feel they will acquire happiness. But the question that I'd like to pose here is, do any of these things guarantee happiness? If I was to acquire so much wealth, will that achieve happiness for me? If I was to acquire a good career, will that assure happiness for me? If I was to acquire many things, would that assure happiness for me? Let me share with you a scientific research that was done in 2005. According to the scientific study, this, I, there is this idea known as chronic level of happiness, or continued level of happiness known as happiness set points. According to this idea, it states that every individual, you and I included, have a happiness set point which inevitably goes to that set point regardless of any significant or disruptive life event that you may face. Let me give you an example. For example, making a lot of money in your business and a lot of profit, getting a new job, getting married, getting a new house, getting kids, or even, for instance, facing a death of a close family member or losing your job. All of these things may increase or decrease your current level of happiness temporarily, but inevitably, your happiness will come to this happiness set point known as the chronic or continued level of happiness. Now, if we want to try and increase this permanent level of happiness, what can we try and do? There's three things that make up this happiness set point. The first thing is genetic makeup. This is 50% of this set point. This is our DNA. This is a basically genetic makeup. Secondly, 10% of it is constituted by our circumstances. Be it family, fame, fortune, your mansion, your bank balance, your car. And finally, a 40% of this is constituted within your intentional activity, known as your behaviors. Now, if you or I want to try and increase our happiness set point permanently, clearly we can't change our genetic makeup, because frankly, that's impossible. Now, a lot of people focus their time and energy into this 10%, try and get better car, bigger house, more bank balance. And of course, although that helps with your permanent happiness, it's only 10%. What is four times more powerful than that is focusing your time and your energy into your behaviors. Now, what are those behaviors? One of those positive behaviors is, of course, being content with your situation regardless of your circumstances. Contentment is the key to happiness. Now, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in his most glorious book, the Holy Quran, in the 16th chapter known as Surah Al-Nahl, within verse 97, he states, And we will certainly reward them with a happy life. Once an individual came in the service of our sixth beloved Imam, Imam Ja'far al-Sadiq salawatullahi wa salamhu alayhi and asked him, O oh my Imam, when Allah says hayatun tayyiba, a good life, a happy life, what does he mean? So the Imam responded by saying, hayatun tayyiba is one thing, al qanaa contentment. Here, the Imam is saying that if you want to be happy in your life, if you want a good life, then be content. 
because being content guarantees happiness and it guarantees a good life. Thank you.